Hi, my name is Holly and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, what I do is I share anonymous diary entries that my subscribers, followers, whoever send in. Today's entry is a little difficult to read because the first time I read it, I ugly cried. And I can't promise that I won't do the same this time. <sighs> I'm just gonna start. Dear Diary, I've had an almost perfect life, supporting parents, financially stable, good friends, and good grades. In October of my sophomore year, my mom died. I had just gone on my first date, and my dad was driving my sister and I home because she was out with friends. My mom was going out of town on her birthday, so my dad and her celebrated that day. When we got home, we couldn't find her. We looked outside, and she was face down in our ice-cold pool. I was sick to my stomach. I panicked. I helped my dad drag her back into the house, but it felt like I couldn't do anything. My dad and sister knew CPR, so I called 911. While they were coming, I had my last moments with her. She died six days before her 52nd birthday. I closed my own mother's eyes. Her lifeless body haunts me. It's a year and a few months now, but nothing feels the same. My mom and I were extremely close. It was so unexpected. I just can't help but to think of all of the things I'm going to miss out on. She never saw me drive a car by myself. She won't see me graduate high school and college. She won't drink with me when I'm 21. She won't hold my children. She won't be there on my wedding day. She won't meet my husband. How am I supposed to go on with life when my whole world has stopped? I'm sorry. This past May, I started becoming extremely depressed. I wanted to kill myself, melt away into nothingness, be with my mom in heaven, hug her one more time, laugh with her. I've been diagnosed with major depression disorder and PTSD. I take medication. I joke about this with my friends, about taking meds and my dead mom jokes, just so they don't see how hurt I am. I'm failing my classes in school. I've gained 30 pounds because I eat to cope with my emotions. I feel so alone, even though I know I'm not. I feel like the only colorless person in a vibrant painting, the ugly duckling trying to glue on the right feathers to hide his true self. I want to move on, but I can't find the willpower in me to do so. Everyone says you just gotta do it, and they understand that I just can't. I need time, but life doesn't wait for anybody. I feel like I'm disappointing my mom because she used to stress the importance of a good education. I want things to be normal. The holidays are hard too because it just reminds me of the hole that is there because she's dead. It hurts and I'm scared and I don't know what to do. I have no solution and I need one. Sincerely, B. <laughs> okay. I think this hit me harder because my mom is kind of around the same age. She just had a birthday and all my sisters are married and have kids now, but obviously I haven't had kids yet. So the comments like not getting to hold my kids just breaks me down. B, I can't even begin to imagine what you have gone through and what you are going through right now. Obviously I haven't lived through this so I can't tell you what to do. I can't give you solid advice. Just know that you aren't alone and your pain is 100% valid. And I don't know what you believe. It sounds like you believe in heaven. I believe in heaven. I believe your mom is still out there somewhere. And she has the ability to see you recover and get back on your feet. And when you do, you can say, look, mom, I did it. You will get through this because you have to, there's no choice. This pain can't last forever, it can't. Yes, you will always miss your mom, always. But you won't always be in this much pain. That's all I can say because I'm not a therapist, I haven't been through this and it's probably weird enough that a stranger is even talking about this. But I hope sharing your story helped in some sort of way. I know a lot of people will be able to relate to this and I do have a group chat set up for loss, so if any of you do relate and are struggling with this, please feel free to join it. You guys can support each other 
and encourage each other to recover from the loss and the things you may be going through because of it. As for everybody else, don't take anything for granted, especially people, especially the ones you love the most. This life is temporary, but I really believe that our souls aren't. Our souls go on forever. And that's the one thing we can all have hope in. Even if you don't 100% believe it or believe it at all, you can still have hope in it. And you can still know for a fact that their effect on this world and their memories will live on forever. I'm going to stop there. Um, my heart was truly broken reading this, and I'm probably going to turn off the camera and cry a little bit more, but it also reminds me to not take anyone I love for granted. We're all blessed in some ways in this world. Just count your blessings, know them, be thankful for them. If you guys are interested, I do share entries on all platforms, so like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, obviously. They're all linked down below in the description, so feel free to check it out. If you want to submit, the email is also down in the description. Thanks for listening, and please leave support, advice, whatever for B in the comments. Bye.